Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. I'm very happy that you are joining us for our weekly Thursday evening video message. Always wanting to be a good steward of the funds entrusted to our parish community, in this coming weekend's parish bulletin, I will be providing our parishioners with a financial report for the year ended June 30th, 2022. I'm pleased to say that in spite of the current state of our economy with an inflation rate being at a 40 year high, and in spite of the decline in our financial markets, our balance sheet at June 30th, 2022 reflects that our parish community still has a good financial position. As reflected on the balance sheet as of June 30th, 2022, the parish had total assets of $1.6 million. At June 30th, 2022, we had liabilities of 131,000, primarily for accounts payable and funds held for our pot of gold program. Our equity balance at June 30th was $1 million $486,000. Again, it is gratefully acknowledged that our parish community is in a strong financial position. This financial position is primarily due to the net proceeds on the sale of the former St. Joseph the Worker property in 2016, our parishioners' Sunday offerings, our cumulative investment income over the years, and the success of our weekly Pot of Gold program. With regard to the financial operations of the parish for the year ended June 30th, as reflected on the statement of receipts and expenditures, with operating income of $1,141,000 and operating expenses of $1,138,000, we had a very modest net operating income of $2,600. Although similar to our fellow Americans, we have been dealing with the impact of high inflation, and yet from an operational standpoint, we managed to show a slight surplus for the fiscal year. With much gratitude to our parishioners for maintaining their weekly offerings, and also those parishioners who have increased their weekly offerings, our parish collections exceeded last year's Sunday collections, and they also exceeded our budget for the fiscal year. And so I'm very grateful to all who support our Pot of Gold program through their weekly participation. I thank all our sellers, and I'm grateful to our parishioners who come each Monday evening to review the tickets. Our Pot of Gold program generated over $120,000 for the fiscal year. Regarding our investments, although for the fiscal year 2020-2021, we had an overall increase of $315,000, which represented an annual rate of return of 27%. Unfortunately, for the fiscal year 2021-2022, we had an unrealized loss of $229,000 due to the downward change in the market value of our investments. This represented an overall net loss of 15% for the year. The good news for our parish community is that we did not need to sell any of our investments and therefore the negative fluctuations has resulted in unrealized losses only. Also, even without any investment income for the year, we were able to avoid an operating loss. Again, for this, we are grateful to our parishioners who maintain their contributions or increase their contributions to the community during this past year. With regard to our capital expenditures for the year ended June 30th, 2022, we completed our parish campus renovations with the expenditure of $94,000. As we move along in our ninth year, as the new St. Francis Cabrini Parish community, it is with much gratitude that I thank all our parishioners for their continuing financial support. 
Again, as noted earlier, although it is true that currently we are in a very sound financial position, it is so important to realize that as in past years, we have been dependent on our pot of gold fundraising income, but for the future, we need to meet our ordinary expenses each and every year and not allow ourselves to continue to be dependent on this type of income. And we certainly cannot dissipate our assets. Again, this coming weekend in our parish bulletin, we will be including our annual financial report for the year ended June 30th, 2022. Our current annual financial report was reviewed in great detail by the very competent members of our finance council. And last Thursday evening, I personally reviewed the report with members of our parish pastoral council. I thank our members of the, both the finance council for their dedication in advising me with regard to the temporalities of the parish and also the investment committee members for their assistance to me as pastor. I value them, their time, their talent, and their particular expertise. As a parish community, we're truly blessed by such men and women. Finally, I also thank Karen David, our parish business manager, not only for the recording and reporting of our parish financial activities, but also for overseeing, coordinating, and being attentive to all aspects related to our parish financial operations and parish campus. I am especially grateful to Karen for overseeing every aspect of the campus renovations which began three years ago and continued into the past fiscal year. And so again, I thank everyone for all that they're doing to help our parish community grow and be sustained. And so let us pray a very special prayer, stewardship prayer. O oh Lord, giver of life and source of our freedom, we are reminded by the psalmist that yours is the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. We know that it is from your hand that we have received all we have and are and will be. Gracious and loving God, we understand you call us to be stewards of your abundance, the caretakers of all you have entrusted to us. Help us always to use your gifts wisely and to teach us to share them generously. May our faithful stewardship bear witness to the love of Christ in our lives. We pray with grateful hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.